重庆山火地。由于持续的高温天气，火情发生在前往南川的路上，我们已经在路边看到各方力量。大家可以顺着我的镜头看一下。I had seen a, my wife had shown me a video as well, and she was concerned about it. You can see the mountain from many parts of campus here too. When smoke's coming into your apartment, you know it's something serious. I'm viewing China and Chongqing as my home, so I should treat it as such. Told, hey, they're they're looking for people with this specific skill set. Would you help? I'm like, yeah, of course. I had sent a message to my parents uh, in, in, in the U.S. Uh, before going, like an email. My parents' response was, just be safe and be careful. Uh, when my uh, mother-in-law had heard the news, she was uh, just reminding me that I have a family and a daughter, and you know, is this really what I need to be doing? But they were worried, but uh, weren't, weren't really able to stop me. They were in Chengdu at the time. I think really felt really serious once I finally got on that motorcycle, to be honest. It, it was kind of a, on the back of a motorcycle, zipping through town. No helmet on the back, and, you know, a hand's already occupied with the, the object, too, but... I didn't know when I first came, you know, am I going straight up the mountain? And then it turns out, hey, we're... I just didn't know what to expect. Um, definitely a little scary. I knew it, you know, I, I always try to prepare for there for the right reasons though. I mean, it wasn't, uh, it was, as far as the day itself, I mean, there was a lot of waiting around. Oh, I'm ready to do more, ready to do more, but. <laughs> My wife has, you know, seen me, you know, operating power tools before, you know, I've, I've had, she was certainly worried. I mean, I, I'd gotten more calls from her that day than, you know, usual. And it's like, sometimes I could answer and sometimes I couldn't. The three of us were kind of working together to get the first few together outside where it was brutally hot. And then we did the final safety check, but we were making sure they were gassed and oiled properly once they were assembled. Um, then they were all taken to a different staging area and tested once again. And then the chainsaw groups were formed to head up the mountain. <laughs> You know, the people around me are, you know, my people, basically. I mean, it's it's not, oh, it's us and them, it's, you know. It was kind of nice, so when we got to the uh, the top there and we're waiting in line to, to head in, um, there was a, a, a lady who just uh, appeared and she's like, oh, Wagrapongo Hoshui. People donating time and materials and meals and motorcycles and everything else. Um, you know, I had you know, different people donating money and just people trying to help their community. Even worse things to come, um, you know, the community will probably come together. So, I mean, that, that, that I like to see. It's just people who, you know, have never, you know, necessarily helped in a situation like that or, you know, to see them get organized. There was no fighting or bickering. It was all just, let me help. Where can I help? And, a friend is um, somebody that you can count on, you know, an extended family member in a way. That's in times of crisis, you kind of see who's around you. 